So here I have a chartered engineer process diagram that are in red. Just back in March 2024, we um, made some changes. This is based on the accreditation of your bachelor degree. It's not your master's, it's not your postgrad, it's not your PhD. It's your bachelor degree. If your bachelor degree is accredited by Washington courts or Sydney courts or the international courts we have, then he, and you graduated before 2013, you'll be the standard route. Also, if you have uh, your, your qualification, your bachelor degree after 2013, is required to have a master's degree. So if your master's degree is also accredited, you are the standard route. So everything described in the phase two is what is in the process for you. And then you do a um, professional interview and then you become a chartered engineer. In green, we have the further learning route. This is for someone that has an accredited level eight post 2013 and doesn't have a master's degree. Or maybe the master's degree is not accredited. So then this person has to write a little bit more about the about and to show their educational formation and including those three learning criteria, plus everything inscribed in the box from the phase two, and then go for an interview and become a charter. In yellow is the experiential learning route. This is for someone that their qualification, their bachelor is not accredited with by one of our international agreements, or maybe someone that is an associate engineer with more than seven years working experience. And it also includes those uh, people that never really got a formal qualification, but have more than 15 years working experience. So then you have to do a niche assessment, which is a document more elaborated to go to the membership qualification board to approve you going forward and starting the process of um, a chartered engineer. For this initial assessment, there's no deadline. You can send any month, any time. But then once you pass, Phase one and the phase two have deadlines in the beginning of the year in January and also in the middle of the year in June. So for the experiential learning route, if you pass the initial assessment, then you start working in your phase one, which is based on your educational formation, everything you learned, all the theory part, and then you go for a professional interview. And then if you pass, you can start working in your phase two. You go for an interview again and you become a chartered engineer. So there are two interviews in this process. For the experiential learning route, if the engineer passes every stage, this will take about a year, a year and a half. As part of the one part of the requirements to, to in the application is to demonstrate those 35 hours of CPD. And I have this slide here because most of people think that CPD is only for their education. And it's not. There's a lot of other things that include as a CPD hours. So if you are part of a committee and you have an opportunity to demonstrate your communication skills, you can add that as a CPD hours. If you are giving training or receiving training, mentoring or writing an article, you can also add that as a CPD. It's just important to mention that the, of those 35 hours per year, there's a maximum of 14 hours that can be used as a self-directed learning. And also make sure you keep your CPD recording in your membership profile because we have a deadline for, for that. So every 31st of January of every year is your deadline to update everything you've done in the previous year. Every year we have a chartered engineer of the year and, and this is um, a short list of all the 400 applications that we receive. So we select six finalists and each one of them will present a showcase project and one will win as the Chartered Engineer of the Year. That's all for me. Thanks so much for watching this webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at regiani at engineersireland.ie. I also have included my LinkedIn profile and my colleague email address there. Andrew Kennedy, he looks after all the professional type queries. Please email him at uh, a at Kennedy at engineersireland.ie. Thank you.